Hi, this is Keith Young at Desktop Publishing Secrets Revealed. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the creation of leader dots inside of InDesign. Now, you may be wondering what exactly are leader dots? Well, leader dots are these little lines here that go across or lead your eye across the page in a table of contents, for instance, or an or, uh, order of service for the church bulletin or even for a menu. I hear this question a lot from people who are new to desktop publishing. They want to know how you create those dots. So I wanna, wanted to create a really quick tutorial that's going to show everybody how to create them really quickly inside of InDesign. Okay, so what I've done is I've set up a text box that has the same text as this box up top except there have been no tabs applied and there we don't have any leader dots set right now so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create those what you need to do is first of all where do we want we have to decide where we want our tabs so I'm going to click in between the word introduction and Deacon Doug because I want a tab in between there and then I'm going to click my mouse in between choir and maestro Clark and then hit tab on the keyboard I'm going to click in between Bible verse and judges and hit tab on the keyboard and then between sermon and pastor love I'm going to add another tab now if you notice all of these tabs are at different spots that's because each line of text is a different size and the tab stops are set at default positions so it's kinda hard to align tabs sometimes by just letting uh, InDesign use its defaults so what you need to do to override that and then go ahead and add some additional features is select each line of type of which you want to adjust the tabs you need to go to the type menu and then choose the tabs command you'll get this tab dialog box that pops up which will allow you to edit your tabs we're going to set our tab to be right aligned and then we're going to click somewhere on this ruler to set where we want our tabs to be okay you can move this tab anywhere you want it on this ruler to uh, drag out your text as far away from your other items as you want them now you can change how this type is aligned right now we have it aligned to the right but if you notice if we go over here this downward facing arrow is the center alignment we can align all of this type to the center of this tab we can also choose left alignment so that we will align all this type to the left edge of this tab but what we want to do is to line this up against this edge here and it will look much better if it were aligned to the right so that all of the right edges of this text were in a straight line so we're going to choose align right and then we're going to drag this a little bit further over to the right All right. now in order to set the leader the leader dots what you do is in this box where it says leader go ahead and click your mouse and then type in a period hit tab on your keyboard again and you notice now we have these nice dots or leader dots that go in front of all of our tab items now you don't have to use a period you can use a hyphen for instance you can use bullet points whatever you decide you want to use for your character symbol uh, you can choose that but most of the time for things like church bulletins or menus or uh, table of contents you're just going to use a period okay now we do have another thing that I want to go over very quickly before I end this tutorial and that's what if you want to line up uh, groups of numbers with tabs and let's say we have this number this data one data two data three and then we have different numbers that are that have uh, the decimal point in different places now this doesn't it's it's aligned to the right but it 
it can look a little raggedy like this because the type, uh, the decimal point is a little off. Now if you want, you can decide, you can use uh, an align on tab where we can fix this situation so that each number is lined up on the decimal point. The way you do that is, once again, you select all the text that you want uh, that has tabs in it that you want to edit. What you need to do is, we need to drag this ruler out a little bit further. Select the tab that you want to edit. We already had a tab created for this. And then click, choose the Align On tab, or Align to Decimal tab. You notice now that our tab icon has changed. There's a little dot at the top of this arrow. So now what we're going to do is drag it over a little bit. And you notice that now all of our tabs are aligned on this decimal point. Now you don't have to align them to a decimal point. You can also align this tab to any other character that you decide, decide to type in. Say for instance, if we were dealing with money and we uh, had the dollar sign symbol in the front here, what we can do is align all of these numbers to the dollar symbol if we want. All right, so that's how you create leader dots and that's how you uh, align different tabs or your text to tabs in different methods. So I, I've shown you how to create a leader dots that you can use for your church programs, for menus, uh, for table of contents, and I've also shown you how to align your type on these decimals. You may, for this type of thing, you probably won't have leader dots this type of thing may be aligned on in, ta in, a, in a table or something of that nature so you may have uh, lines and lines of type that you want to have aligned on the decimal so either way uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful and if you have any questions about how to uh, set tabs inside of InDesign or you need to know a little bit more about leader dots please don't hesitate to contact me at desktoppublishingsecretsrevealed.com. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you next If you're looking for top-notch tutorials using the most cutting-edge desktop publishing and design software, be sure to check out our library of video tutorials at desktoppublishingsecretsrevealed.com.